Hi everybody, this is Eric. I uh, wanted to update you on the progress of the drum room here. I uh, had all the framing finished, uh, getting ready to start the electrical, so I'll give you a little tour of what's been done in here. So you can get a good view of everything going on from over here, from the far side of the garage. Um, over here we have the rough opening for the window, the door, uh, this is the wall along the side of the bay here on the far side the other two walls. And I'll show you the individual construction of these components. So this is the structure for the door. So I have a couple 2x4s here. I'm going to put a 2x6 right here that I can then do the 2x8 jam into this to give the, the jam a little more strength so it wouldn't twist under the weight of the big heavy doors. So we also went with some spacers in between the 2x4s here to give a little more strength uh, to keep this thing from twisting. Yeah, a single stud here might be a little twisty, so this thing might be a little overbuilt here, but I definitely don't want it going anywhere with the door. Um, on the bottom here, um, there's a little step up on this side. Um, so there's two thresholds that go down here. This one's raised a little higher than this one because um, this door is going to open up this way and the floor slopes down that way. So this end of the door is lower than this end of the door. So when this door opens up, it would hit the floor over here somewhere. Um, so this, we can raise the door up a little bit, get it off the ground, uh, so we don't have to worry about that crashing into it. Um, that's just a piece of oak down there. Nice piece of hardwood for the bottom. The rough opening for the window, nothing special there. Uh, this is two by four header on the top. Uh, the door's got two by six header on the top. Over here we have the construction to cover up the central vac um, and we mounted one of the doors. Uh, so this one's all set here. So the, uh, as the other door, the jam and everything's all custom made here. Um, I don't have the stops and things on there yet, but this one turned out pretty well. We did this one first since this was you know, a little utility door, so if we messed something up on it, it wasn't going to be so bad. So this one hinges are a little bit out of alignment here. It doesn't quite want to stay closed. Um, had to do a little notch work over here to get the pipes to go around, but nothing too dramatic. And here are the, the two doors. Um, we did all the mortising, um, put the hinges on. Uh, my friend built this custom jig here for doing the hinges, which was pretty sweet. So we just take this thing and clamp it onto either the, the jam or the door. And we get perfect hinges every time, so that worked out really well. As you can see here, these are all done, ready to go. Um, we didn't mount this door yet. Uh, this door we did, so this one's already been hung and we tested it out. It's good. And so we have a, something to work with there. Um, we've also put up uh, all of the quiet clips here, ready for the, the channel to go in there. Um, here's a little piece of channel. Let's see how this goes in here. So that little guy goes there, snaps in there. Ooh. I'll obviously use a longer piece than this, but that's how it works. And then the drywall fastens onto this. As you can see, these things have a little spring to them. Plus the top and the bottom there has a little spring to them, so the drywall can bounce a little bit and absorb the sound. So that's it. Uh, this thing's all set, ready to go. I'm going to mount the drywall first and then do the electrical. So I'm going to leave this drywall off on the outside um, because the electrical boxes are the vapor barrier type. And so they actually have a, a gasket around the seal. So I want to put the drywall here first and then I can butt those directly up against the drywall to make sure that it's got a good seal. And once that's done, I'll post the progress of that and show you how that went. Thanks for watching. Also wanted to take a minute to talk about permits. Uh, when I started this project, most of the people I talked to said, don't bother getting a permit, just go ahead and build the thing. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go through the permit process and make sure I was doing everything properly into code and everything else. Um, so I did. Um, I just had the inspection done for the framing. Everything's fine. Um, and if I have any advice for anybody else who's doing a project like this, get the permit. Um, you know, there's a couple of things that are important when you get a permit. Uh, number one, the people who are working for the city or whoever is doing your permit process, they're there to try and make sure you do the, pro the project correctly. Right? You're not making mistakes, you're not making stupid mistakes. 
on things that could be hazardous, um, you know, especially if you're getting into the walls of your existing house, you, know, you can start to cause problems with the load bearing and things like that. Um, so they're there to make sure you do it correctly so you get some peace of mind that you know, you know you're doing everything properly. Um, the second thing is if you build something like this without a permit and God forbid anything go wrong, like something catches fire in your garage, uh, your insurance company can just say, sorry, um, you have an unpermitted structure on the premises and they can basically deny your claim. Now that's a pretty big deal. Um, so that's you know, one of the big reasons why I did this is I wanted to make sure that nothing like that could happen, especially doing something in the garage. You know, garage fires are a pretty common occurrence, so having something go wrong in the garage and then have someone point the finger at this structure and say, well, it's because of that, or it contributed to the fire, etc. So my advice to you, get the permit. Um, it is expensive, uh, especially in the area that I live. Uh, it's probably going to end up being a, close to a quarter of the cost of the whole project just to do the permit. But it's worth it. Like I said, if something goes wrong down the road, it's a small price to pay. So that's my two cents.